Alrighty, guys and gals, what's going on, everybody? Big E back here with you. We're back on the Night Elf Priest. Well met. That's Mr. Tyler. We're back in the PETA Challenge. Last episode, uh, I respect. Got darkness. Increase your shadow spell damage by 10%. That's two of our spells right now. We like that. I'm going to go DPS output. Mm -hmm. We hit level 14, posted a few things on the auction house, cleaned up the bags, and moved some of the bars around just a little bit. And I'm noticing this one. Let me decrease this a little bit here. Let's do that and do this. Just some quick access stuff up here. Let's go turn this quest in. This is the Cliff Spring River. And let's buff her up. We picked this quest up from Temple of the Moon. Hello. I'm so glad Chief Archaeologist Grey Whisker sent for us. Safe travels. And we can't see her quest yet. It might be the absent minded professor, something like that. We can't do easy strider living. We can turn this into Thunderous. Ishnuala. The pollution of the Cliff Spring River is but the start of an alarming trend here in Darkshore. The sample you provide will help us formalize a plan, a plan of attack. I am starting to suspect. Good luck, friend. <clears throat> uh, it is no surprise how tainted this water is, but just looking at how putrid it is becoming. Mm -hmm. It would seem that action is needed sooner than later, eh, Tyler? To our east is Fellwood. It is the real source of this corruption, one that I have seen in times past. I predict this sample will confirm this. We might be able to enact a cure for it here, but in order to even try, we will need assistance. When that time comes, Tyler, I hope you will be able to give us the aid we need. Farewell. So what he's talking about is here. Yeah. Bellwood is all corrupted. It's seeping into the water supply here. Yeah, we can't do that. Can't do any of these. Nope. All right, so... We're going to head south to the Furl Bog Camps is what we're going to do. Hope everybody's doing well today. It's actually back-to-back -back episodes for me. But for you, it's been a day or more. Accidentally bought a cloak of the owl without thinking. Realized what I'd done, and I just reposted it for the amount that I bought it for. We were at the auction house last episode. Cleaned up the bags a little bit. Made a few more things alchemy-wise. We'll keep on top of that. We're going to be slaying these infected animals, too. I have okayed it. It makes sense. And let's make sure these are humanoids. And these are our level, so going to be a little bit careful here. Let's get an armor pot going. Refresh our buffs. And let's get into it. Gust of Wind. We also picked up, and I didn't put on the bar, we can now cure disease. Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. It's down there, actually. 
I have Fade as well. I'm going to take that off the bar for now because we don't need it. Is Florky with us? Florky is not with us. And we need Florky with us at all times. There's a squirrel. We're going to love that squirrel. I think we've loved the squirrel before, but we're going to love it again. Already tell the difference with the uh, the respec. Although Smite is, I'm pretty sure Smite is a holy spell, right? Yeah, Smite is a holy spell, but Bla Mind Blast and Shadow Word Pain are not. And the only reason I'm saying that is because we have this, and I'll probably max both of these out as well. This will help us out with spirit. Although this might be good as well. I, te I tend to be greedy when I'm picking talent points. Either greedy or stupid. <laughs> Usually both. So maybe a little bit overkill on the amount of drinks that I bought. But it's not a big deal. They're inexpensive. What we're we gonna do here. I'm gonna do this. That's 39, that's a little more expensive. Um Open up with a Mind Blast into that, into one Smite, into some Staff Whack, and then back to a Mind Blast. Fairy Fire. Let me test something while we have this up. Yeah, I can't use Shadow Meld. Look at that. That's interesting. I have to keep that in mind. Because this puts me into stealth and fairy fire eliminates your ability to go into stealth. So if I have that on me, we just need to keep running. Or pop a health pot. It's good to throw on a rogue. Well, I don't know. We could easily go through these 60 drinks <laughs> before we hit 15. Um, okay, I don't mind fairy fire. I just, I really don't want the other thing, whatever it is that he's going to do. Oh, that's the wind talkers, probably, that throw up the, uh... Whatever that ability is. Ugh, warm orange juice. <laughs> Not the tastiest. Ugh. I probably shouldn't even be drinking that orange juice. Uh, that orange juice is probably loaded with sugar in it. Like, added sugar. I try not to eat anything that has sugar in it. Unless it's like a natural, you know, like fruit. It's a little bit different, right?
Did he miss? I guess he missed his gust of wind there. I would assume that's like the like what the harpies do. I'm not sure, but he did miss the ability, I think. It's a big hit there. We like that sort of thing. It is like, it's just like the harpy ability. It's only three seconds or so. Not that big of a deal. That's it for the wind talkers. We need the pathfinders, which uh, are these guys. They carry the, what are these things called? can't remember the weapon type. Some kind of pole arm or something? Maybe that's what it is, is a pole arm. A spear, some might say. We might come down to the beach sea turtle, because we also we're gonna be taking out rabid thistle bears. I don't want to get too cocky or confident, but I'm feeling like we might be able to take on the other mob. Um, the ghost, the spirit from the, the Balan ruins or whatever they're called. Oh, I missed that. I have a patrol here. This is, oh boy, he told. And I missed that ability. All right, this, this is a level 14. I might shadow meld here. No, I've got fairy fire on me, so I can't. Let's just hang in. Okay, good. I was counting on this. A little bit unfortunate right there. I was just looking over here to make sure there wasn't a patrol, but these mobs are just popping up really quickly. Too quickly. I don't have my inner fire up. We need to get that back up. After I drink three times. <laughs> Tyler was saying that um, he had not counted on or thought about, like, the drinks, like with milk. I'm finding that um, with these viewer-suggested created challenges, I'm running into a lot of stuff, what, like, I don't think the creator thought about. Because, like, until you're actually playing it, then you discover new things or, like, you realize, oh, right, so this doesn't work because of the rule set you've Stuff like that happens all the time, and it's actually really, really interesting. I think it's interesting. I wonder if we could pull just this one. Yes, we can. But let's come back a little bit. Now, I could use Psychic Scream as an interrupt, but I don't really want to do that. Unless I absolutely have to. Because Psychic Scream just makes him flee. For eight seconds, he could run into a whole pack of mobs, and then you're in big, big trouble. So, We've got a couple over here. Actually, three over here we might be able to pull. And I can pull this guy from the center, I think. This guy's back up right here to my right. Nice. 
Flirky, flirky. With the pitter patter of your feet, it's flirky, flirky. I hear the pitter patter of your feet. That kind of freaked me out. A sickly deer here. We'll have the moons, like the matriarchs and the patriarchs uh, type of moonstalkers up to the north and I think potentially down to the south. Much higher level. Well, not much higher, but a couple levels. Just got that off. I think it's safe to say we'll definitely go through most, if not all, of these drinks before level 15. Last one. I uh, will take this guy. He's out here by himself, away from the herd, away from the pack. What would you call a group of thistle bears? I don't know. Somebody could probably think of something clever. <laughs> Can't do it right now. I mean, I don't think there's... Bears don't travel in packs, so there's not, you know... I think they're pretty solitary, except for with their, like, immediate family, you know? Um, all right. Let's see if we can find... Ooh. Let's get down to the beach. The beach. These are not aggressive crabs. That's been completed. I wonder what's out there. We could go investigate. But I'm a little bit worried about threshers. Yeah, man. I really wish you could... They would have done something to where you could see the tree. You never see the top of this tree. Maybe there's not a top. That, that, that might be the case. Maybe there's just not... There is no top to the tree out there. Hey, look at that. It's held in Gale Song. There's a fisherman out here. I guess there's nothing out here. A treasure chest? Nothing? You got some chalices. Chalicei? <laughs> no. Yeah, those things. I'm just saying, missed opportunity, Blizzard, for a uh, treasure a treasure chest out here. Missed opportunity. There's a barrel of milk. We don't need a barrel of milk. And uh, let's be honest, a barrel of milk on a beach... You're going to want to avoid that at all costs. So the rabid bears are... They do appear to be gray in color. Like this should be a rabid bear. It is. Already halfway there. Level-wise. I'm so sorry, Bear. We have to put you out of your misery. Don't want to infect other wildlife. Can't wear leather. There's another one.
Oh, this area is just full of infected creatures. There he goes. Just have fun out here, Flurky. Just have fun, my friend. They should infect us. I'm pretty sure they can. Well, I'm positive they can, because we, there it is right there. Oh, we can use, uh, use our new ability. But I've learned if you have a mob that can infect you like that, if you have any kind of thing that has a CD on it, sometimes it's better just to wait to use it or something that costs mana, because sometimes you can cure the poison or whatever they put up, and then they just immediately poison poison you again. You know, like just finish the fight and then cure the disease. Or if it's uh, something that doesn't really affect you, just leave it up there, right? And, it, and if you already have something up, they generally won't use the ability again, meaning like they won't prolong the effect. So just leave it up, I guess. Yeah, words of wisdom from a pro, uh, pro Warcraft player. Not a pro speaker, though. Knife of Agility. Might be able to sell that for a little bit of coinage. Some hot coin action. I mean, it doesn't have to be hot coin action. It can be just like regular PG coin action. That's fine, too. Kind of crazy amount of bears we have to kill here. It's insane. Bear meat. Ugh. I was at the grocery store a couple of days ago or last week or something, and I eat a lot of chicken, fish, and occasionally I buy steak and stuff, but just every once in a while, not very often. Anyway, so I was trying to change it up a little bit. I went, I was looking at this, you know, the meat ground and all of that, steaks. Dude, the I don't know what the fuck was going on, but it, the packages, like most of them, you know, because they're on, like, the slanted, the tilted shelf, right? So you can see them. Like, the whole... Most of the meat, the bottom of the packages were just filled with blood. Yeah, I mean, you expect a little bit of that. You know, and I, you know, I've seen it before. But this... It was, like, coming through the fucking package, man. It was... Not good. Not good. Needless to say, I didn't get it. Yeah, kind of, I don't know. I mean, I don't know why that disgusted me more than just, like, flesh in a package, but it did for some reason. I guess it stung uh, just a little bit more. 
Let's put this out of its misery. It's sickly. This is our responsibility. We're the only one that's going to do it here. It was pointed out to me in the comments also that if I was in like Westfall or Goldshire, I would probably see many more opportunity to have to duel somebody. It's part of the rule set. If we see somebody killing an animal, we have to challenge them to a duel. And I've decided like this is permadeath. You, you don't die in a duel. You just go down to one HP. But I'm pretty sure it does flag you for PvP. Now, this is not a PvP server, but if for some reason, while I'm flagged, I get killed by an enemy player or something, I'm not going to count the death because that that would not... I don't know. Just not going to count it. But it's going to be interesting if that happens. I don't think we've seen it yet. I don't think I've had the opportunity to duel somebody. But that's something that I could easily forget, you know? So if you guys see it in an episode and I miss it, make sure to call it out so that it I, you know, it sinks into my mind even more. Like, okay, I got to keep an eye out for that. Because that's a really interesting part of the challenge, I think. So it's, it's so like if it's a level 80, if it's a skull mob, I have to challenge them <laughs> to a duel. They're going to be like, uh, you, you serious? <laughs> I might put up like a little, oh, sorry, put up a little macro, create a macro where I say something like I'm fighting for the animals, the animals honor, something like that. I'll try to come up with something clever so they can maybe see that I'm RPing a little bit. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we're definitely going to go through these drinks. We'll go down and see if we can get the uh, the, the beach sea turtle, the remains, guarded by murlocs. This is like, uh, this is high living. A dead turtle with the shell? Yeah. Murlocs are moving right in. I never really noticed that the drink time is 17 seconds. Like, not 15, not 20. 17 seconds. I wonder if the food is the same way. Let's see. The food is 20 seconds. Oh, so what the difference is... No, okay, I see what they've done. So the difference is the refreshing spring water restores 151, and the food restores 243. So if the... If this water restored 243, it would probably... Well, I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. I thought I'd figured something out, but... <laughs> right, I'm a little bit worried in here. This thing's going to heal. is going to heal. Now, I might Psychic Scream him if he tries to. Okay, I just got that off. What's interesting is I finished the cast at the exact same time I used Psychic Scream. Like, if I pull him far enough away, hopefully he won't run back and tell his posse. They're all seers in here. I'm going to do the same play here. I'm going to pull him way back so I can use a psychic scream. Yes, that actually did work. Got a short CD on it. Was it 30 seconds? It is. I might be able to. I thought I had to be much closer to the like at, like in here or something, but if I can just go here, it's fine. 
I'm going to see if I can get this without having to fight this mob. Because I feel like something else that should be a part of this is just the ethical treatment of all creatures. So if we don't have to kill something, we won't. All right, we have the remains. How are we doing on time? We're half an hour in. And not even close to the bears. I'll tell you what. I'm feeling a little bit confident, not cocky. Since we've respect, we've got a little bit of extra damage with, with our shadow spells. Let's go see if we can get the pendant, Anya's pendant, for her husband, who's on the dock. And this creature needs to be put out of his misery. Rest easy, my friend. There she is there. She's level 16. You've got the same health as we do. We're just going to remove this mob. And we can pull her straight back. I can do nothing about curses, but it's not a long curse. But I don't think this affects our spell casting. I think that's just for melee. Chance to hit reduced. She has no mana. Doesn't mean she's not going to do something scary. It would be cool if they had, with cooking, they had two trees. Or maybe three. Like meat, vegetarian, vegan. I think that would be kind of cool. And you could choose which one. If I had any kind of sway or pull at Blizzard, man, as far as design, things would be different. All right, we have started this. I'm going to run back a little bit, let that dot tick. She's putting a curse on me. That's fine. I mean, it's not fine, but we need to keep Powered Shield up. Oh, she's easy. Well, I missed that. That's not good. done a great deed here. Let's hearth back. Looks like we're praying or something or so, so, casting a spell on Flurky there. Greetings. Go in peace. The voice actor, whoever did the night elf, the male night elf, and many other characters uh, in the game, just incredible voice. Greetings. With a great sorrow in my heart, I followed the Shen Du storm rage into hibernation and took my sorrow to my dream, sleeping for the passing of thousands of years. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing all right too. Be careful. Thank you, Tyler. Perhaps it would have been better if I'd done it myself. But after. <laughs> Not the best acting there, though. <laughs> but even after these thousands of years, it could not bear to raise my hand against my beloved. Good reading. Please, I would be alone with my grief. And we get a tear of grief, but it has a negative effect on it, which is interesting. Till next we meet. All right, take it easy, bro. Let's sell a few things here. Lurky does not get summoned with us. No, he does not. He ain't got time for that. Feel free to browse. Thank you. Um, sell the Murloc Eye and the meat. We do not want that. And we're just going to sell this. Because we have the two-hander anyway. Although... If we could find, um, well, oh, I sold the wand. Uh, 
Ah, uh, just sell it. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going to be. I'm not going to bother with it. Um, think. I wonder if we can make it with these drinks here. I kind of don't want to buy any more. What I am going to buy is some of this melon juice, in anticipation of hitting level 15. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. Let's switch that. All right. Go in peace. Thank you. Let's turn in these two quests. Yeah, does anybody know the name? I, I, it's not the same guy that does the the voice intros. That guy recently died, actually. The guy that does the voice acting for all of the intro quests. Ishnu Daldiep. Ishnu Daldiep. Asha Fela. Hello, Tyler. Do you have any discoveries or creatures that have washed ashore to report? Yes, I do. It was a giant sea turtle. Elune light your path. She was very happy about that. Another discovery for us to research. Well done, Tyler. These remains will be properly studied once they get to Darnassus. Please accept this small honorarium. Okay, so it's the same dialogue. May there. the stars guide you. A little bit of XP. What is honorarium? Did we get like money or just? Oh, if we get honor. I mean XP, and we actually get. Uh... Uh, reputation, not honor. That's kind of cool. I never really paid attention to that before. I like how the dwarves have like a camp. <laughs> like the night elves have these beautiful structures and the dwarves are just like... Rah! Set up a camp and a forge. <laughs> Just outside. That was a dwarf force, uh, voice, by the way. You're wondering. Hey, it's it's uh, Grimclaw. Greetings. Hi. Del Nadris. Wash the blood from your garments, Tyler, and do not mourn what you have done. Instead, give thanks. You have lessened the threat to our people here in Arbidine, even if Darkshore is still in jeopardy from the effects of Felmoss. Okay, so, because I've not been reading the quests, I didn't know that Felmoss, I thought, like, the water was the source, but... Go in peace. Unless that was something. What do we have here? May the stars guide you. Now, I can't do this. Yeah. Moonstalker pelts? Yeah, these are not infected creatures. So we're going to decline that. Good luck, friend. Thank you. Why don't you get a sexier voice? Huh? Why don't you do it? All right, let's wrap it up. Call that an episode. Flurky. Come on, Flurk. The Flurkinator. He's been flurking around. <laughs> All right. Let's find a corner to stand in, I suppose. All righty, guys and gals. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. Take care. Flurky, Tyler, and I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Peace.